Hello everyone. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to select the most appropriate journal for your research paper, most appropriate Elsevier journal to be more specific. And before I before I show you that, I would like to show you our website, the Research Hub. Here is our website link. So please check it out. Check the blog section and the job section. There you will you may find many jobs and postdocs and scholarships for you. Okay. So today I'm going to show you this tool, Elsevier Journal Finder tool, which helps you to find the most appropriate journal from the Elsevier database for your article based on the title and the abstract of the paper. So now I'm going to show you how it works. So you can access it from here, journalfinder.elsevier.com. Okay. So what you have to do is actually very simple. You just have to copy paste the title and abstract of your paper. So I'm going to show, show you three examples. First one, this is a published paper of mine, but I'm just going to use it for now to show you as an example, okay? So I have the title and here is the abstract. I'm going to paste it here. And then you just click here, find a journal. Now it will give you the best match, okay? So you can sort by match, by journal title, by impact factor. So if you click here, now you see by impact factor lowest to highest but you can also make it highest to lowest but i prefer the match one okay so here again it's showing from lowest to highest but i will go from highest to lowest so here i see this journal would have been a great fit for my paper and not this one but this is into finance and banking but mine is about shipping so this one would be a great fit this one could have been a great fit Okay, and this one, sir, yeah, very much into economics. So I see that uh, at least three of Elsevier journals could have been a great fit for this article. Okay, so here you can also limit your search by dis different disciplines. So, for instance, for me, the most uh, so for me the most rele uh, relevant ones are economics and social science. For you, depending on your article, it could be different ones. So you just take the ones, okay? And I will click again this. And still, I see these two journals comes up on top. Yeah. So we can also limit to open access journals only. So if you want to publish in open open access journals, journals with open access access open access options. So just take this and click again and you will see only the openings the journals that those which has open access option so let's see another paper so I'm going to copy the title from here paste it here and I'm going to copy the abstract from here and paste it here and I will uncheck these boxes I would like to keep it open and I will just find journal. So then I see these journals. So technological forecasting, yeah, it does not really match very well. So sometimes this is a problem. Sometimes the journals you will see here may not fit very well with your with your article as well. Like in this case, actually, I don't see any of them. Maybe this one could fit a bit, um, but most of them does not really fit with with my with about shipping and port competitiveness but none of them are really about shipping and port competitiveness so it that the, the limitation of this tool is that it only looks within the Elsevier journals this is the limitation maybe there could be some other journals which could fit my paper very well but anyway it's okay I mean we we have to live with it we sometimes have some limitations so it, it's a great tool, but yeah, what can we do? So let's see another paper. So I'm posting the title here. And then I'll copy the abstract. I'll post it here. And find journal. This is a good match. Actually, these two journals are very good match for the for the for the paper. Actually, first three of them. Yeah, all three of our, the first three of them. Although I haven't published in any of them, I published in the journal uh, from Springer. But anyway, these three were a very good match for the article. 
and maybe we may see some more no, not really but anyway so we see that the first three journals were a great match for this article so here also the great thing is that you see the impact factor of the journal you see the side score you see average review speed so this is the first decision from first submission to first decision time of the journal okay so you can choose between yeah you can choose by looking at the speed of journals like this one is very quick you submit within four weeks you get a decision okay and you also see the acceptance rate of the journals like 22 percent like this journal has a very high acceptance rate okay and you also see the production speed so after the article is accepted how long it takes to get it uh, out there online and also you see if the article supports open access or not the embargo period embargo period is that like you can after your your article is published you can share the post print version of your article publicly but after the embargo period and in this case which is 36 months for this journal this journal is also 36 for this journal it's 26 months uh, 24 months so it's a mix. yeah often it's like yeah, it's, it's a mix of 24 and 36 months okay and you will also see the open access fee so if you want to go for open access how much you have to pay for this journal 1800 here 850 here this is very expensive 2450 so to, to almost two and a half thousand dollars so that's a lot this is even expensive three thousand dollars okay and if you find the journal where you want to submit your paper you just click submit paper and it will take you to the journal portal and you then follow the process and submit your paper thank you very much for seeing this video if you find it useful please like comment share if you want me to make some more videos on, on different topics, please suggest in the comment section so I can make the videos for you. Thank you very much and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button.